Potatoes are a staple food around the world. They come in all shapes, sizes, and even colors. Potatoes originated in the Andes and were domesticated at least 7,000 years ago. Today, they're cultivated around the world and are one of the five most important food crops. The most commonly cultivated species is Solanum tuberosum, but there are thousands of varieties. There are also several hundred wild species. Because the potato is so important, steps have been taken to preserve its genetics and seeds. There are 3,500 varieties in the Svalbard Seed Vault, and the Peru-based International Potato Center is dedicated solely to preserving the germplasm of potatoes and other tubers, in addition to improving food security and fighting poverty. So basically, potatoes are important business. Over 1 billion people in the world eat potatoes. You may have heard potatoes referred to as a vegetable, but that's a bit of a misnomer. Potatoes are tubers, a modified root that the plant uses for storage. Basically, potatoes are the plant's energy stash. If we didn't harvest potatoes in the fall, the original stem would die back, and then the plant would use that stored energy to grow new shoots in the spring. This is what a potato flower looks like. I think they're quite lovely. They have five petals and come in a variety of colors. Potatoes can be cultivated either by using the seeds the flower produces, or also by growing shoots from a potato or piece of potato. Those eyes that sometimes form on potatoes, those are just new shoots. However, there's something important about those eyes. They can be poisonous. Except for the potato itself, all parts of the potato plant are poisonous. Potatoes are in the nightshade family, Solanaceae, a family known for such dangerous plants as deadly nightshade. Both nightshade and the potato plant contain alkaloids, toxic chemicals that affect the nerves. The solanine in potatoes evolved as a defense against predators, and new shoots, those little eyes, and green potatoes both contain it. So don't ever eat green potatoes and cut off growing shoots. Potatoes are also susceptible to a disease you may have heard of, potato blight, or Phytophthora infestans. The pathogen that causes blight is an omocyte. I think I'm mispronouncing that, which is kind of like a fungus. It can be transferred through wind or water, making it very difficult to manage. When it infects a plant, it starts as unassuming spots, but can quickly turn the whole plant to mush. The potato blight is what caused the various European famines in the 19th century. Though blight is still a problem today, farmers manage it with fungicides, breeding disease-resistant varieties, and management techniques that help prevent infection. So that was a brief introduction to the world of tubers. This video is part of a collaboration with other educational YouTubers. We're all making videos themed around the potato. You can find a link to a playlist containing all the videos in the collab in the description. I hope you'll check them out as there's some awesome videos in there, including ones about potato batteries. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to post any questions you might have in the comments. Also keep an eye out next week for my video for Pollinator Week. You can prepare by visiting the link in the description to see if there's an event in your area. And lastly, I'm leaving next week for VidCon in Anaheim, California. If you're attending, I'd love to meet you. Follow me on Twitter at Brilliant Botany and shoot me a tweet if you'd like to meet up. I'll have stickers on hand to give out to viewers. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week for Pollinator Week.